Those old sayings, you know, the things your family and friends used to say that usually came from out of nowhere, and only sometimes they really made sense? They had to start somewhere. Who, what, where, why, when, and how? Some of those old sayings are not only ancient, but still carry a punch today. I live by one of those old sayings. Winning is a choice. The goal of these episodes is to help preserve not only a language, but lessons in life. I'm Errol, and this is Chapter 4. Take it with a grain of salt. Basically meaning the information shared is prone to unreliable or exaggerated. The birth of skepticism is what they call it. The origin dates back to 77 AD from Piney the Elder. He used the phrase when translating an antidote for poison, saying to take it with a grain of salt. Others believe it reached into the 20th century when some countries said take it with a pinch of salt as opposed to a grain of salt. Either way you say it, it's not just a way to call someone's stories out. It's an invitation for receivers to say, oh, this is based upon and or not the full account. Merriam-Webster says it's not totally clear how the phrase ended up in its modern meaning. Those who research Piney believe it was a figurative warning as a way of saying, I'm not sold on its efficiency and you might actually poison yourself to death if you do this. Take it with a grain of salt. It shows up once again in John Trapp's 1647 epistle and the revelations of John the Divine. Then came the huge gap, which researchers say you can take that with a grain of salt. I'm Arrow, and that's something our parents would say.